Yo, what's going on guys? Dragon Monster here once again doing another video for you and today we're going to be talking about Conan Exiles mods. Uh, this is one of the things that I've enjoyed the most about the game and throughout the rest of my guides you will be seeing me do some mods. Um, I will be putting a list of all the ones I'm going to talk about in the description and I believe from here on a link to all the uh, mods that I use personally in the videos I will try to have in the description as well. But in the meantime, if you go to your actual Steam page, if you want, you could do that and go through the workshop. Uh, we have the website pulled up here so I can make it as easy as possible to show you how to do it. So you just go to the workshop and you can go down here and go to most subscribed because that's the best way to go to see all. And you'll see a good amount of them. Um, depending on what your really trying to do will make a huge difference like at some point i plan on doing ember light because that's apparently a lot of really really cool stuff in there but uh some of the ones that i you will see me using are hosev's uh custom ui mod um pickup plus and the less building placement restrictions those are the three that i'm going to be talking about the most um a lot of people like pippy it's got a lot of very, very nice features, especially if you're running a server. A lot of people like the fashionist one because it allows you to do all sorts of uh, cosmetic changes and things. Um, Age of Calamitous is a hardcore one, if I remember correctly. Better Thralls is another one that I've been messing with. Uh, the Paragon leveling one is very fun to keep you going. All sorts of things. Um, Unlock Plus is one that I've recently started using because it's very nice, convenient stuff to it. It's a lot of great mods. If you have something you want, it's probably going to be uh, in here. So I'm really curious as to what this is, but I don't want to mess with it right now. So the number one mod, if I have to say any that you, in my opinion, need to have, it's going to be... Actually, we'll talk about the top three, right? Because they're all really, really important in my opinion. So that's going to be these three. Yes, view page. I'm going to click that every time. So Close Apps Custom UI Mod. It changes the health bars and everything. It's so nice. So much detailed information. Um, you can customize the colors. You can put a background around it. Uh, what's another? Is that all the? Is that all the pictures? That can't be all the pictures, right? I guess I don't know. It doesn't seem to want to scroll. Maybe if this was on Steam. Um, but you even get a uh, mini-map. And you get... Um, brain is breaking. Oh, damage numbers as well. That's very nice. It's constantly being updated. It just got an update to add a couple more features. And there's talk about more features in the future. This mod is fantastic. And you'll see me using it from here on out. The less building... Placement restrictions is so nice, so nice, because a lot of times you go to put something down and it's just like, mm -mm, mm -mm. like this, you want to connect it for a long table, but it's like, nah, you need that gap or you try to place something inside your building, inside your house. And it's just like, nah, you need way more room for that. Perfect. You can, you can go a little crazy with some of these. This is hilarious. I like this. Um, but it can get a little, a little crazy. But. Yeah, pushed in chairs. Yeah, you can do all sorts of things and it makes life so much better. Um, You can place things close together. You can place them in better places. Like the default way it works is just so annoying. But you can do all sorts of shenanigans with it. And it's very, very great. Highly. Highly recommend this one. And then the last one we're going to look at is going to be um, the Pickup Plus. This is the last one we're going to talk about here. It's great because in Conan, let's say you put down a wall because you're trying to build your base and you accidentally put the wall facing the wrong way or you accidentally clicked too soon while you were moving the camera and it put the wall on the inside, not on the outside at a weird angle. And you're like, God damn it, now I gotta pick this up and get this out of here. So you go to pick it up, and the only option is dismantle. So you now have to waste resources to then build another wall. 
and it's just a pain in the ass. Or with this mod, you could pick it up. You play something and it, you don't like where it's at. You're like, ah, no, no, that's not that's not how that's gonna work. It's gonna block some walkways, or it's gonna be awkward or something. Especially with the previous mod, if you put something and it clips too far into something, it clips out of your house. You can pick it up and you can put it right back where you want it. So this is a fantastic option. But again, there are so many, so many mods. And you will see even more of them when I go here and I go to mods. Uh, these are the ones that I currently have uh, going on my games. But for the purpose of this series, the ones that we're going to have are going to be Hosev's, less building restrictions, and pickup plus. Now, I love all these ones for various reasons, but for purposes of just quality of life changes, that's what we're going to focus on, not gameplay enhancements. Um, another one that does it would be Unlock Plus, and the only, honestly, the only reason I got this mod was to speed up my crafting, because there's a little feature inside... Um, the crafting stations that allows you to pull all your resources in to that one thing so you don't have to worry about it with uh running from like one bench over here and a chest over there and something crafting outside and you do this and you got to run all over the place just to gather everything up and then put it into one bench to craft something you can just hit the button and it'll pull all the resources you need to craft that thing immediately it's so nice assuming you have it and uh it's very nice but we're gonna pause here and we're gonna load up so we have the mod selected that we want to do i'm gonna go to game i'm going to launch it and we're gonna skip past all of this shenanigans of the loading screen and all that so we will meet you in game Alrighty, so here we are we booted up to the main menu and you would think we would just jump right in right nope we have one more step just to double check everything and make sure it's all copacetic and that is the mods tab right here so just to make sure everything's good we're gonna go here and make sure it's all on there um one of the very nice things is that you can do everything from here if you really want to but everything is copacetic how i want it so we're gonna go back come on button it's a little slow and one of the other things is that when you play online on a server if they're running mods that you don't have the very nice thing is that it will automatically subscribe and add them to your collection and boot them up right away when you join that server. It'll just restart your game and relaunch with those again. So that's very nice. So we're going to come into here and we'll be jumping into the single player continue. Select. And we should load in and see all of the uh, UI changes. There we go. So, as you can see, the information up at the side there is very well displayed. I can see my level. I can see my local time. I can see the time in game. I can see everything. What type of armor I'm wearing, how much uh, armor it is, and how much damage reduction it offers. My current DPS my uh temperature my current encumbrance my thirst my hunger all sorts of things and ping and server people and everything else my mini map so very very nice and i can do all sorts of things with that so first of all let me this there we go and the other thing we're going to do is we're going to go get into a fight with somebody so we can show you what damage numbers look like so this you see I have it set up. I took damage. I did damage. There we go. Alright, and you can even see the XP amount uh, came up and at the top of the screen you can see the XP. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click this and bandaging you can see even that we are healing from that. And Oh, well, almost topped me off completely. We're going to eat 
one piece of food and you can see the sated buff actually tells you how much you're healing and for how long and everything else so it's very very nice um as far as the other mods go they're pretty much just gonna be um there also if you ever need to see what mods you're running you can hit escape and see right here mod list the ui the placement and the pickup plus so those are just going to exist they're not really going to have a ton ton of function so yeah that's pretty much it so hopefully you got something out of this um modding is super nice some of these are just quality of life to make your first time through more enjoyable like some of these other ones not so much so hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully this was informative and we'll catch you in the next one bye bye